Hello deep learners welcome to tech for trick I am Shan and in this video we are going to see how to build an artificial neural network to classify the fashion image dataset. Before going to the code please hit that subscribe button it will help me to make more videos. So let's get started with the coding. As you can see we are importing numpy and keras and we are importing the sequential model from keras.models. Well what is sequential model? Basically it provides us sequences of layers and then we are importing the flatten layer and dense layer from keras.layers. What is flatten layer? Flatten layer will take all the inputs and it will flatten that into one dimensional array and that will be fitted by the next layer and in dense layer each and every node or each and every neuron are internally connected to each other. And to visualize the dataset, we are importing the pipe plot. Let's run this program. So the packages are imported. Well, what is the fashion MNIST dataset? In fashion MNIST dataset, there are 70 thousands of 28 by 28 grayscale images. It has two parts, train data and test data. In training part, it has 60,000 of images with their labels. And in test data, it has 10,000 of images with their labels. It has 10 classes or 10 categories like these. From 0 to 9, 0 represents t-shirt or top and like these, 9 represents ankle boot. Now let's load the data set. The Fashion MNIST dataset is available in Keras. So we can just import the Fashion MNIST from Keras.datasets. And using this load data function, we can actually load the dataset into this four list. The X train and X levels will contain the 60,000 of training images and their levels. And these Y test and Y levels will contain the 10,000 of test images with their levels. Let's visualize the first image of x train. Well, this 0 doesn't belong to this 0. This is the levels and this is the index. This is the Python index. It represents the first image of x train. And in title section, we are going to print the first levels as well. Let's run this program. And the first image is look like this. And the class is 9. You see 9 means ankle boot. And this is an ankle boot. So now we need to normalize the data set. Well, why normalization is required? Because the values here, as you can see, the values of this image lies between 0 to 255 and that's huge. So we have to normalize it for our model. There are many methods to normalize the data set. You can divide the data set with 255 to normalize the data set. But I am going to use the normalize function from keras.utils. The x train and y test contain the images. So I am going to just use normalize function to normalize our images. And after normalization, I am going to print the same image that is the angle boot. And uh, let's see the result. So as you can see, both the images. This is the actual image and this is the normalized one. Can you feel the difference? Okay. So next we are going to build the model. So we are using the sequential model. This is the initial process. And then we are going to add the flatten layer with the input shape of 28 by 28. The shape of this image is 28 by 28 as you can see. 28 by 28. So flatten layer will take all the inputs and it will flatten that into one dimensional array. And that array will be fitted by the next dense layer. This is the hidden layer. So in this hidden layer, we are using 200 neurons or nodes and we are using the ReLU activation function. Well, what is ReLU activation function? ReLU means rectified linear unit. Rectified linear unit, if it gets any negative values, then it will make it to zero. Else, it will return the value as it is. And in the next layer, we are using 10 nodes. Basically, this is the output layer. These 10 nodes represent to these 10 classes and this is not random. And in the output layer, we are using the softmax activation function. If you don't know what is ReLU activation functions 
or softmax don't worry i have already made a dedicated video about activation functions so if you don't know activation function artificial neural network please go and watch these videos so now it's time to compile the model we are using the adam optimizer we may also use the sdd or stochastic gradient descent but adam optimizers works better in this scenario and we are going to use this loss function that is sparse categorical cross entropy why categorical again we have multiple classes if we have one classes to identify then it will be binary classification then we will be using the binary cross entropy loss function and while compiling the model we are going to track the accuracy score now it's time to fit the model here is our training data x train and x levels and this time we will go for 20 epochs let's run this program and as you can see the training has been started it will take some time and after first epochs as you can see we achieved 82 percent accuracy So the 20 epochs has been completed and we achieved 94% accuracy which is very good. Let's see how well the model is performing on the test data. Now it's time to evaluate the model with Y test and Y levels. Let's run the program. And as you can see we achieved 87% accuracy on our test data which is also very good. But remember, the test accuracy should not be greater than this accuracy. This is the train accuracy. Okay. Now let's spread it the first 10 images from Y test. Don't worry, these are the probability distributions. Let's pass this to the argmax function. So we are going to pass the probability distribution to the argmax function and we are going to print that. And this is basically the prediction levels and this is our actual levels so we are printing the both let's see so in our data set it was 92116146567 and our model has predicted the levels are 92116146567 both are the same right so the first one is our prediction this is the predicted levels and these levels are the original values let's visualize the result we are using the binary color and in the title section we are going to print the original value or original class as well as the predicted class so the y levels will contain the original value and this spread will contain the prediction so let's run this program so here is the result so this is an ankle boot right in our data set it was leveled as 9 and our model has predicted it as 9 which is absolutely true so in our data set it was leveled as 2 our model has predicted it as 2 and like this our model has predicted all correct so that's it for today thanks for watching if you learn something new please give this video a like and please subscribe to this channel i upload videos every week in the next video, we will see how to use the convolutional neural network on the Fashion MNIST dataset. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment down your queries. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, enjoy artificial neural network.